Welcome back. Uh, so today we are going to talk about low pass gates. Um, so forevermore in this series, you probably won't see me using VCAs as um, amplifiers anymore. Um, they're really for me. They're really good for controlling voltage, but um, I find low pass gates to be so much more musical. Um, and why is that? I'm glad you asked. Uh, so the reason is. Um, first of all, a low pass gate works off of a Vactral. Um, so a Vactral is a combination of a light emitting diode and a photoresistor. Um, so beyond all the electrical talk about it, what it does is it reacts more musically to my ear because basically as it turns up, the, the louder it gets, the more high frequencies come through. And this is how we hear music in, um, sorry, music, sound, volume, this is how we perceive volume in nature. So if you think about a trumpet, a trumpet is pretty dark sounding when it's quiet and it gets brighter and brighter and brighter as it gets louder. Um, and we react to that. Like we perceive volume more from high frequency than we do from actual energy. Um, so to give you an idea, let me turn this up. Uh, let me get so you can hear it happening um, there's a filtering effect going on and that's why these are called low pass gates um, so as it gets louder we get more high frequencies um, so in essence a combination of this with a um, complex oscillator can replace the need for a filter. Um, that's how Buchla synth synthesizers work. Um, there's a complex oscillator. You are controlling the waveform, and you're controlling the filtering from here. Um, <clears throat> nice thing about uh, low-pass gates is some of, the, some of them have dampening characteristics, um, this can work this, you know, pretty much the same as you would use anything else, right? So uh, any kind of VCA. So if I send a sequence. And we're just going to bypass the filter. We're going to send, you know, voltage to one volt per octave. We're going to send gate to our function generator. I hope. <laughs> there we go. And we're going to send our function generator to our voltage control here. So very useful and musical to have these as part of your Eurorack setup. But, you know, again, this is sort of like personal taste, right? Because Moogs don't have these. I think I'm probably just more of a West Coast person the way I perceive sound. Um, so I prefer this sound. Because you just have, you know, you have so much control. You know, other the drawback of this is things have to be louder to have more high end. Um, so something to consider. Um, most factorals will have, or sorry, most low pass gates will have something like a strike input. And all that means is we are hitting the, uh, let me get a longer quick cable. We are hitting the Vactral with voltage or the low pass gate with voltage and it becomes percussive. Another thing to consider is that I'm going straight from the clock divider to the strike input. Um, so that puts this into play. I can change the clock and get different results. So 
So now all of a sudden we have like competing rhythms, which is really fun. So from normal to two times, three, half, a third, a fourth, <laughs> And we have some control over volume. Okay. So you can hear all the possibilities here with this. Um, this is it's a really useful piece of gear. Um, so I hope this you know explains it to you and makes it clearer and hope that it gives you some ideas to play with.